We've all been there trying to schedule a meeting through emails, DMs and text messages. It can be quite a hassle, right? That's why having the right scheduling tool is crucial. And luckily I found the solution for you. TidyCal. This is an appointment scheduling app like you can share a link to your client or you can put it on your website and they can book a time slot for themselves. It also blocks already booked appointments which makes it important. You can also do a lot of customization and integration. Hey what's up my name is Shivam before getting to the video if at any point you would like to check it out then you can do so from the description below. So let's see how this app works and we'll talk about its features on the go. After signing up with your Google account this is what the dashboard looks like from here you can easily manage your appointments create booking pages and customize your schedule as you can see there's already meeting template for 15 30 and 60 minutes let's create a new booking type for the demo here I create the project theme one meeting to create a booking add a title to your event set the URL for your booking page write description for the meeting set the duration for the prior meeting and then you can select your work days and time slots according to your availability. Now you get to add window, yes, time slots. Suppose I set the time to 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and I have some other stuff to do in between. So I'm adding a time slot schedule for like 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Yes, it works like that. Let's check out some advanced booking settings of this app. Okay, so availability details here you can set how much time you want your calendars to be available for the booking. Then we have minimum meeting padding. This option allows you to split the period between two booked meetings so that you can take a break. Yes guys, little breaks are important. Under this section you can add the span of time around your meeting times so other don't clash and you get app time to prepare for the further meeting. Next comes the availability interval feature. Here available time slots refers to the duration of each time slot that users can choose from to schedule appointments. For example, let's say booking offers time slots for appointments and the interval is set to 20 minutes. This means that users can select specific times within the available time range such as 9 a.m., 9.20 a.m., 10 a.m. and so on. For the limit bookings, you can set the number of bookings per day, week or month for your calendar so you don't burn out. The interval of available time slots on a booking page refers to the duration of each time slot that users can choose from when scheduling appointments or reservations. From limit bookings, here we can set the maximum number of bookings which you can limit for a day, weeks or month. Furthermore, you can set a location type for your booking. It can be online video conference for which you can just choose between Zoom, Google Meet or a static link. Then physical address, you can add the meeting location for your client and if you want your meetings over the phone call, you can provide the number below as well. The last option is no location and it will be scheduled only via TidyCal. Let's scroll down and see some more advanced settings. You can enable group booking. This will allow more than one person to book for the same slot for different purposes. It can be a webinar or a event. Guys, you can charge for the bookings. Now that looks interesting to me. To make it a paid booking, you can set your currency from the profile section and set the price. Currently this platform offers PayPal and Stripe integration. So this feature is quite important for a lot of people like consultants and all that. Next is automated reminders. TidyCal sends timely reminders to both you and your guests, reducing no-shows and improving overall communication. You can also customize your email reminders. For this you can change the subject line or the content and then set the duration of hours for the reminders before the meeting time. Following up, you can add confirmation custom URL for the attendees to get redirected to a page that you want them to land on. You also get the private mode where you can hide your booking on the calendar and then share the link privately. To seek more attention onto your bookings, you can add your booking types on the directory. Select the category and finally click on create. And you are done, you have created a booking type. Coming back to the booking types, once you have created a booking type from right hand corner, you can now see your booking pages. As you can see, this was the type I created. From here, I can simply book and select the date for the booking. Here you can select the days you have customized for that booking type. Then select the time and region. A confirmation page will appear and click on book event. Done. It gives you the benefit to add bookings to your Google Calendar, Outlook, Microsoft Office or Yahoo Calendar. It's quite convenient guys. 
Coming back under the bookings, you can view all your bookings and you can get to export the bookings in the drive. It exports Excel file with all the details of the bookings made. In the contact section, the booking I have already made with others are listed down here with their respective email IDs. So you can directly send a link to your contacts. Oh, and don't forget the integration. TidyCal syncs seamlessly with apps like Google Calendar, Outlook, and iCal as I already mentioned. For video conference, you can sign in with your Zoom and enable automatic Zoom meetings through this app. You can also import your booking types from Calendly. You just import the bookings and schedule with TidyCal. APIs with this app app is also there so you can do all sorts of things like create update retrieve events access calendar data and even automate scheduling i mean all that stuff this means you can seamlessly incorporate tidy cache scheduling functionality into your own website apps or workflow whatever suits you the best let's explore the booking directory the core benefit of this feature is to collect payments through the booking directory you can connect your preferred payment gateway allowing several clients to pay for a service upfront during the booking process it simplifies the payment workflow and ensures hassle-free payment you also get to incorporate free meeting and paid ones you can filter your search by categories and it shows you all the bookings tidycal also has customer support features so if you need them you can just contact them the only option you get is live chat so that's it so those were all the features and how the app works talking about the drawbacks i don't have much to complain the only thing i would say is that the free plan has limitation on the numbers of appointments you can take and some advanced features are only available in the paid plans but by looking at the price of 29 dollars one-time fees it's hard to ignore so they offer two plans like free and lifetime plan for $29 of one-time purchase. As you can see, these are all the differences between the two. Free plan is good and has quite some useful features. But when we look at the paid plan, it has custom email reminders, paid bookings, confirmation redirects and advanced integration. And then $29 single payment seems to be like very good bang for buck deal. So if you were looking for an appointment scheduling app, then this is something that would, I would definitely recommend to you. If you want to give it a try, then you can do so from the description below. But that's it from my side. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Now, if you are looking for a way to manage all your social media accounts, then you can check out this video right here. This will help you out. And you can watch my recent video from here. That's it for today. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.